Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, Srimothi Chandrish Kumari Kathuj, Minister of Culture, Srimothi Shushma Sharaj, Leader of the Opposition, Srimothi Shukanna Shankar, Distinguished Members of the Jury, Ladies and Gentlemen. I feel honored to present the first Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony for the year 2012 to late Pandit Ravi Shankar, the great Indian Sita Mastro, whose renditions had and will continue to enthrall the world. Though Pandit Ravi Shankar is no more with us in his physical form, the music will still remain with us and remind us of the profound contributions he made towards internationalization of Indian classical music. I am glad that his wife, Srimuthi Shrikanna Shankar, and his daughter, Ms. Anushka Shankar, are here today to accept the award. As part of our commemoration of the 150th birth anniversary of Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore, this award was instituted to promote values of universal brotherhood. In May 2012, in the closing ceremony of the Tagore commemoration, I had the privilege of announcing the name of Pandit Ravi Shankar as the recipient of the first Tagore Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Ramindranath was a literary icon who was fascinated by the idea of interaction between civilizations through the exchange of knowledge about their culture and literature. This versatile genius, being a poet, an author, a composer, a painter, a philosopher and an educationist was the perfect ambassador of our country for cultural exchange with the world outside. The literature, history, and culture of different nations reflect the universal values of humanity. In a world still fettered by race, creed, color, Ramindranath Tagore promoted internationalism for a new world based on diversity, open-mindedness, tolerance, and coexistence of many cultures. The Beard of India made the world his own. The Vishwabharati University, which he established in 1921, was set up on the ideal of Yatra Vishya Bhavet Te Koniram, where the whole world makes its home in a single nest. He visualized a cosmopolitan place of learning where students from different cultures would meet and learn from one another. When Rabindranath Tagore was born in 1861, the collective consciousness of our people was afflicted by feelings of inferiority. By the year 1941, when he breathed his last, these ideas were no longer pre prevalent. Tagore was among the pioneers in bringing this sea change in approach. It was Pandit Ravi Shankar, who, as a living legend, deeply influenced many key Western artists and musicians. He worked with artists from different parts of the globe to bring before the world audience, the idea of composite culture as ancient, as ancient as our land, but as radiant as the ragas he brought to life. His work with the great Yehudi Menuhin transcended faiths, regions, and cultures. He has been recognized widely for his contribution to music and for bringing cultural harmony through music. 
He was bestowed the Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1962, Ramon Magasse Award in 1992, Francis Heist Civilian Honor, the Knight of the Legion of Honor, besides a host of other important honors, including Grammy Awards in his long and illustrious career. He was the recipient of Bharat Ratna in 1999. Pandit Ravi Shankar was a musical genius, but he remained a humble human being throughout his life. In his autobiography titled Ragamala, he says, and I quote, people ask me always what I want to be remembered by, and I would like it to be not for my mistakes, but for the things that I was able to achieve. Those that have touched the hearts of the people in my own country and beyond. God has been kind to me and I have been very lucky indeed to have gained recognition and appreciation almost all over the world. It has been my good fortune that there have never been any problems with communicating the greatness of our music. Unquote. His passing away from our midst has been a great loss to India and the world. His legacy, however, lives on and will continue to illuminate the world of music. With the confirmation of the first Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony, we pay tribute to late Pandit Ravi Shankar for his enormous contribution to cultural. Harmony. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.